Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to learn how to enable the fast CGI Nginx cache on Ubuntu Cloud Server. So we are going to use Nginx cache on WordPress and there are a lot of plugins available online in the WordPress repository to enable the cache. But what we are going to do is we are going to use Nginx for caching at the server side instead of using the PHP processor. So caching on Nginx helps improving the server speed and reduce the load on the server memory usage which enhances the entire server utilization. So I already written an article on this which you can refer and that we are going to cover step by step in this video. So things that we are going to see here is how to create the fast CGI configuration file under snippets including that snippet into our Nginx configuration file adding the fast CGI path, defining the fast CGI cache rules, testing the fast CGI Nginx whether it's working or not on the live website. And we are also going to see one plugin for WordPress which is Nginx cache to clear the cache manually. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we are going to create the fast CGI cache configuration file under snippets folder. I already have my SFTP filezilla open. So let me navigate to this path. Meanwhile, I will copy these all rules, copy and uh, we will be creating a new file in this. We'll name it as fastcgicache.conf and let's open that file. Paste the rules that we copied, save and close. Finish edit and delete the local file. So our fastcgi cache file has been completed. Now let's move on to the next step which is including this into our nginx default configuration file. So it's available in etc nginx sites available folder. So let me navigate it through sftp sites available and we have this default file here. Open that. In our previous video we added this gzip configuration as well as browser configuration. So similarly we are going to include this copy this fast cgi rule fast cgi and make sure that you are including it under server directive now we have included the fast cgi to run in our default configuration next we will add the engineer cache path and this should be at the top of all other rules so let me copy this and before server file just paste this one so once it is done move on to this next step which is defining the cache rules so this we would be adding in the location php if you go here you can see the location php just add lines in here copy these rules so this basically defines how the cache should behave here paste let me just align it So we have added the fastcj cache rules which has the fastcj cache key zone and it has uh, the cache valid time which is set to 60 minutes and the we have increased the timeout to 6000 seconds. Now let's close this default configuration file, upload it back to our SFTP. Once this is done, we need to test our Nginx configuration file because we have made a lot of changes in our Nginx. So you can run the command here which is available here, sudo nginx. So it says the configuration syntax is ok. Now let's restart our nginx web server. So nginx web server is now restarted. So now that our nginx has been successfully configured, let's test our demo site whether it's hitting the nginx cache or not. So you can run this command which will hit the nginx cache header which will help in identifying whether we are hitting nginx cache so if you see it says x cache miss which means this was the first attempt and uh, we were not able to hit the nginx cache because the cache was not available now when we run the same command again since the first time the cache was not there what nginx cache does it it will create a new cache and store it in the cache folder now when we run the same command again second time control v and run now it says cache hit which means it has hit the cache we can also verify whether the cache was created or not so let's go into var www demo cache this was the nginx cache path that we defined in our nginx file so here you can see there is one folder which has a lot of directory and this was the file that got created 
So next what we are going to do is we are going to use a WordPress plugin which is Nginx Cache by Tilcrus. So let me open my demo.resto bin. So the Nginx Cache that we created uh, is set to 60 valid time. Now just in case if you made any changes online uh, on your website or posted a new content so that post won't be appearing unless you clear nginx cache so for that we need to manually purge the nginx cache folder so we can just add this plugin that i mentioned now search for nginx cache by tilcrust just install it and activate so once you activate it just go to it under tools nginx cache so here you need to enter the fast cgis cache path that we have used in our nginx configuration file so which is nothing but var www demo cache and you can also select this option just hit on save that's it so you can purge this cache so if I try to again hit the same URL since I already purged the cache it would say mess so here you can see it's saying as mess again if I run that it will say hit so the cache was, was created again if I run again it will say hit because the cache is already there let me purge it once and then again hit the same URL it's a cache mess this is how this plugin is useful in order to purge the nginx cache so that's all in this video I hope you liked it let me know if you guys have any questions or comments thanks guys cheers have a great day